let's begin welcome welcome to this english class here on zoom it's nice to have you hello hello welcome we have sandra and also marcos good evening thank you for being here thank you for joining thank you also claudia hello jorge is here good evening Janessi, thank you so much. Daniela, Liliana, Luis is here. Also, Anna, thank you so much for joining y'all. Welcome to this English class, which is number 16. We're going to finish this module with today's class. As you may know, in the title for today's class is going to be um, Messages with Tell and Ask. Yep, so thank you so much for joining. Uh, welcome everybody. Good evening, let me see. Okay, Sandra, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you so much, no problem. Let me check another one. Okay, Claudia, thank you so much for letting me know. No problem at all. Thank you so much for being here, yeah. I know that's on how you're tired. Yes, but here you are. Yeah. On time and learning. Hello. Thank you so much. Louise. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. Louise. Welcome. How are Hello. you? I'm good. Um, I I have I have a, a doubt. Oh, go ahead. What Tell is, me, please. What is the level after this? I think uh, we have like advanced Module number one. I Advanced. Guess. Oh yeah. Yes. I guess okay. so. I'm, I'm not. I don't. I don't know if like they have module number four. I don't it's, know if they if they it's have intermediate intermediate one teacher. Oh Jesus. Mm, one. T. Sí. Yes. It's logical. It's logical, right? Intermediate. <laughs> intermediate. Number. No, intermediate. Number one. Oh. Yes. yes okay yeah that makes sense that thank you true. that is thank true you. intermediate yeah because this is pre right oh jesus i'm sorry yeah that's true oh i forgot i forgot yeah so that's that's like an intermediate module number one yeah so um there you go yeah a, a lot of practice on this one very good thank you so much for asking okay and be ready be ready Okay. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna have this picture. Look at this picture, please. Um let me see. Janessi, can you participate, Janessi? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Thank you. Look at the picture, Janessi, here. What do you see here in this picture? It looks like uh Food court? Like a food court, right? What, what kind of restaurants do you see over there? Mexican and the other looks like is oriental food. Okay. Chinese okay. or Korean, I don't know. Very, very good. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know if it's Indian. I don't know. Probably Indian or Chinese. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you like Mexican food? Yes. Young lady? Uh, what's your yes. favorite Mexican food? Um, I like tacos and quesadillas. Quesadillas. How often do you eat that? Mm, tacos, very often. I made it in my house. Oh, okay. So you cook? Yep. Oh, this one. Okay. What about Chinese food? Do you like it? Mm, yeah, but more like the American Chinese food. I haven't eat the real Chinese food. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't know what is it, how it tastes. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah, the only one that we have is like from China work, I guess, right? Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's the only one. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for sharing that. Do you, when you go to the mall. When you go to the mall, do you do you have food in this place, like in a food court, Genesee? 
Mm, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah. like to go to Papayons. Papayons. Well, oh, okay. That's okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Where Where, where do you live, by the way? Um, Quesaltepec. Quesaltepec. What is that thing? In La Libertad. Oh, La Libertad. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Wonderful. Thanks. It's nice to have you. Yeah. Okay. Freddy, do me a favor, Freddy. Look at this information, please. Read the information for us. Thank you. Okay. Good evening. Uh, most U.S. and Canadian cities have restaurants that serve food from many different countries and culture. Chinese, Italian, and Mexican restaurants have been very popular in North America for a long time, but now there are also Japanese, Thai, and Indian restaurants is in most cities and small towns. Many people like the or to order uh, <clears throat> food from restaurants <clears throat> for delivery to their homes. Chinese food and pizza are common home delivery types of food. Thank you so much. This is quite interesting, right? Yeah. How can you compare, Luis, this information that we have from like the US and also uh, Canadian places? Yeah. How can you compare this information with the reality that we have here in El Salvador? With the reality. <laughs> I mean, uh, when it comes to restaurants and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, so, uh, in today in this country, we have uh, a lot of uh, kind of foods, a lot of food in the um, the restaurants and. Uh, are uh, very um, uh, very interesting because they are using uh, different uh, recipes, international recipes from other countries. And so uh, the restaurant says uh, if the people can be in the U.S. for food, the food from U.S. is... Um, became to dominate this this uh, this environment in the restaurant in this country uh, uh, we have uh, um, many people uh, to join uh, uh, for for opening for opening new restaurants copying recipes from other countries uh, we have Mexican food and from US, we have the, the young food like uh, Burger King, um, fried chicken, uh, like uh, Kentucky, Pollo Campero is in US also, and uh, another kind of uh, a restaurant uh, are using um, are using advices from US to to uh, generate new new offer uh, to the to the clients in Salvador. El Salvador is uh, it's a country and uh, uh, maybe it's in a good level of uh, achievements about food because we have um, maybe new new brands and new kind of food in this country and we have a, a good offers in prices and flavors and uh, you have to you have to do something like like uh, in the US because you have a lot of things uh, maybe with the same flavor because the, uh, the, the in this country I Yes, several um, companies are buying uh, maybe through 
through royalties, uh, brands of, of food uh, from U.S. Thank you so much. That is correct. Yeah, that's that's very accurate what you say. Yeah, thank you so much. We have a lot of people nowadays. I don't I, know. I don't know. Yes, Jacqueline. I was reading. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that's me. You tell me. But every place I go is crowded. It's full of people. I don't know why, but every like I don't know public place where I go is full of people. I don't know what happened, what's happening nowadays, but everywhere I go, like it's like crowded. Yeah, too many people, I guess. There, uh, I don't know, I don't know why. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, where do you live, Jacqueline? I live in Seoul, RC. Okay, what type of foreign food are available in your uh, town, which is Ciudad Arce? Um, fries, um, actually, like, enchiladas. <laughs> I mean, not from foreign, foreign food, like food from other countries, let's say. I mean... Mm, no, I... Here, it isn't available, to be honest. Okay, so you don't have Chinese food, you don't have... Um, no, because... Like a McDonald's I'm, or like... I'm a... far, like the central city. Is yours. Oh, that sounds good. Yes. That sounds good, right? Yeah. This food is delicious, but not nutritious. Yeah, just keep in mind that one, right? So delicious, but not nutritious. Freddy. The last one is for you. Which ones are the most popular with you, with you, right? And your friends and family. Freddy. About restaurant teacher. About food. Let's say Chinese, fast food. I don't know, Mexican food. I don't know which um, which ones are most the most popular in your family. Let's say when you go out and eat out with your family, what is like the most popular food that you usually have, and also with your friends? What's that? Uh, um, yes, <clears throat> the most popular food um, in my family and in my 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 friends, some friends uh, is. Uh, restaurant the mexican mexican restaurant mm -hmm. why eh, tortas tortas <laughs> why eh, why do you like mexican food uh it's most common mm -hmm. yeah what about eh, what about the price uh three or four dollars so it's, that's it's, that's reasonable right yes uh-huh it's most a co uh, no it's tan es más barato como dice it's cheaper. not expensive it's cheaper ah it's not Sorry. expensive uh -huh. okay <laughs> that, that's good yeah. that's good mm -hmm. again delicious right Freddy but delicious but not nutritious and yeah. also is very <laughs> delicious <laughs> <laughs> what about vegetables uh, do you do uh, you have vegetables <laughs> uh, maybe a uh, no, and also pupusas too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. that is like Salvadorian, right? That is like... Salvadorian food. Uh, exactly. That's uh, like... I, I know people that they have pit, like pupusas in the morning, lunch, and also they dinner with pizza. I I, I eat pupusas three or four days at the, the, the week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you love... That's great. Wonderful. Again, yeah. delicious, but not nutritious, right? Just be careful with those. Okay, yeah, don't, don't, don't need too much. Okay, we're okay. going to have the grammar part. Thank you so much, Freddy. Again, okay. we're going to have this beautiful video from this um, section. I want you to take a look on this one, so then we can practice. Here we go. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs 
tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise 8, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Yesterday we were working with this chart a little bit. Evers, Perdomo, hello Evers. Good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. How's it going? All good to teacher. Fine teacher, thanks. Oh, sounds great, thank you. Look at this picture Um, here. We have some grammar part about formal and informal messages we tell and ask. Do me yes. a favor, please. Can you explain us this information? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Let me see, teacher. Don't worry, take your time, okay? Relax, think about it, and then speak out. Teacher, sorry, I need help, teacher, sorry. I'm, I'm busy, sorry, teacher. Sure, sure, no, that's okay. Kevin, please, help him. Thank you, Kevin, good evening. Nice to have you. Hello, Kevin, can you participate? Yes or no? Okay, Ronald, can you participate, Ronald? Good evening. I think not. What about you, Jorge? Can you participate, Jorge? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Um, minute, please explain us this information, please. Thank you. Or what do you understand? What What do you get about this? Okay, in statements, uh, I understand. The response. Well, uh, bueno, se responde como como dependiendo la 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 informalidad o la formalidad de la pregunta. Al igual que en el request, en el request. Pero el uso del del tell y el ask. Es el único que cambia entre ambos, entre ambos, entre ambas secciones, entre los statements y los records. 
Pues, por ejemplo, eh, no sé qué significará la, la, la palabra que está entre paréntesis, el please, pero no es lo mismo decir tell him o ask, ask her. Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. That is correct. Yes. Here we have a statement, right? Like I'm going to miss class. That's a typical statement. And here we can have a request, a message with a statement. This is the statement, right? And this is, we can have a request. We use please, Jorge, like expression, a polite expression, right? To communicate, please. Okay. Very good, Freddy. Okay. <laughs> that's wonderful. I love it. Oh, that's very clever. Yes, we use please like the expression. Please open the door. Please close the door. Right in here, we want um a request. Tell him, tell him. Very good. And okay. Also with here we have with a formal request. Here is a formal request. Right? Could you t could you could she take the picture of the board? Could you take? Very good. And here we're gonna use that one. Ask. When we have a normal request, yeah, very good. And what about negative? When we have something negative, how this thing works, Mauricio? Please tell us. In what kind of? Uh... Let's say if like we can have a negative, um, a request. What 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 do we do? Oh, we ask not to be. We ask not to be. Do we use the auxiliary in the sentence? Yes. Like like, like don't yes. or doesn't or didn't. Mm, no. Well, well, it depends. It depends. If we are talking about he or she, we add does or doesn't. But I'm not sure. I guess it's probably. Not okay, but do I use the auxiliary does or done or no, or just the word the negative word not on the request question? Yes, but in on the message, not not okay, very good, very good. So here we have the request and here we have the message, right? Very yes. good. On the message, as you may see, could you asking not yes to be right when we have the message here? We'll we use. use Exactly. No. Here, yes. But here, no. On the request on the, or on the statement. Yeah, exactly. The Over message, there, yes, we can no. use the auxiliary. But when it comes in the message, no, we don't we don't do that. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Page. Wonderful. We're gonna practice this thing as you may see. Read the messages. What did the caller say? Write the messages another way using tell or ask. For example, number one, we have Mr. Jones. The message is the meeting is at 1030. All right, 10 minutes early. What is that? Is that a request or is that just a statement? A statement. Exactly, right. It's just a statement. Yeah. Because it's just a statement, what are we going to do? We're going <laughs> to write tell. Yes. Please tell Mr. Jones that the meeting is at 1030. Yeah, but, it's but, like an order. Exactly right. Yes, exactly. No, it's like like something like related in, in, to instructions, maybe exactly like an instruction. Mm -hmm. Exactly, <laughs> that's correct. And the, if you, you see, have do... we have another action at the end, which is could you asking to arrive? Yes, right. So if you notice, the first one is just like something like, oh, the meeting starts at ten thirty no matter what yeah like that's a statement right so if you're there that's good if you're not yes the the second one is maybe uh, more polite to, to say something the, the second one is like a request so i'm requesting please yeah. arrive 10 minutes early or before so so yeah so that's why we ask could you ask yes could you ask what but about the number it... 
too. If, if that is saying, uh, if if your boss is saying that, is a uh, order, right? <laughs> no, because maybe maybe you can get, let's say, at ten thirty, and then you can say, "I'm sorry, I was busy doing something else." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And 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 it doesn't matter, I guess, right? Well, from my case, I have a bunch of excuses. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I have a bunch of, I don't know, it depends, right? It depends, as you mentioned, right? Is is the boss is like yeah. so somehow flexible, like he or she can can like be okay. But if not, uh, as you mentioned, right? Sometimes they get a little bit mad, a little bit mad. On this yeah, way. they sometimes. say only statements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Okay, what about number two? We have Mrs. Rodriguez and the message, we have two, right? We need the report by noon. Call Miss Brady as soon as possible. So, let's see. Which one is a request and which one is a statement? The first one, we need the report by noon. Okay, so so how how we form how do we form this sentence? Please tell Miss Rodriguez. Okay, give me a minute. That, okay. Please, I'm sorry. Tell Miss, I'm sorry, Rodriguez. You tell me, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we need the report. That we need the report. By noon. By noon. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, right. Like this. Very good. Yes. So, uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The end. Please tell Miss Rodriguez that we need a report by noon. Yeah? Very good. What about the other one? Is that like a statement or a request? No, that's a request. Okay, how 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 do we write how do we write the sentence? Would you ask Miss Rodriguez? To call Miss Brady as soon as possible. Brady, okay. Okay, we're gonna write it like this one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's like. It's the same. Exactly, and I did a mistake here, I'm sorry. We have could, and then a question mark here. Okay, could you ask Miss Rodriguez to call Miss Brady as soon as possible? Okay, very good. Yeah, that is correct, that's the way it goes. Maria okay. Vilma, do you have a question? <laughs> yeah. oh, that was very good. No, Do you have a question? You. No? No. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. The next one is going to be for you, Jacqueline. Are you ready, Jacqueline? Yes. Very good. It's a uh, Freddy. It's nice. Jacqueline, can you participate? Yes or no? No. Okay. Jocelyn, can you participate, Jocelyn? Let me know. Uh, uh, hello, Jocelyn. No. Okay. Mm, well, yes. Okay. There you know. Okay. Christian, can you participate, Christian? Okay. Hello, Christian. Mm. Mm. I don't understand no mucho profe. <laughs> okay, okay. We are working with, with okay. We are working with this one to identify is like the this thing is a statement or it is a request. For example, the new laptop is ready. That is sentence one. Pick up I'm sorry, yes, pick it up this afternoon. This is a request. Or is a statement. This is a request, or it is a statement. What do you think, Christian? Uh, 
for example, the number one, the new laptop is ready. That is a statement or that is a request. What do you think, Christian? Tell me, request or statement? Mm, a statement, bro. That is correct. That is correct. This is a statement. So when we have a statement, which one do we use? Do we use tell or do we use the verb ask? Ask teacher. Excuse me? Elas? No, I'm sorry. We use tell. So if you notice here, look at here. Please tell. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because this is a statement. This is a statement. Please tell. Okay? So here, what is the statement, yeah, Christian? We can use, if we want to, Christian, we can use uh, the expressions. For example, we can say please. Yes, we can please say tell. good. We can say would at the beginning. Okay? at the beginning of the sentence, right? And after this, we can use the word tell. Yes, tell. Yes, tell. Okay, so how do we begin this one here, Christian? No, sir, yeah, we'll tell, teacher. Okay, very good. Would, Jesus, I think I did a mistake here. Would, would you tell? Okay, what is next? Mm, Mr. Mr. Welch. Oh, very good. The person, right? Mr. Um, well, I think that's the way we pronounce his name because it's this last name. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pronounce. Okay. That the new laptop. Oh, very good. There you go. That the new laptop is ready. Is ready. Very good. Right. Okay, very good. Thank you. So this is a statement, right? So I'm sorry, this is the message and this is the statement. Now this is a statement or it is a request, Christian. Pick it up this afternoon. This is a statement or request? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Request, teacher. It is a request, right? When we have a request, which one do we use? Do we use tell or do we use ask? Us. We use ask. And also we can say, right, like this one, like this one. Please ask. And then we have would you ask. I'm sorry. I did a mistake over there. I forgot to write a you. And the other one is could you ask. Okay. It's, it's quite the same thing. Okay. So what is the sentence here? Mm -hmm. El will you ask? Debería, prof. Okay, would you ask? Okay, would you ask? Would you ask Maria to pick to pick it, it up this afternoon? Yeah, we need the person here. We need the person. Would you ask? What is the per who's the person here? Mm -hmm. Mr. Welch. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> My gosh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we have. What is the next thing? 
pick it to... up, pick it up this exactly. afternoon. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Pick it up this afternoon. Okay. So this thing looks on how complicated it looks, but at the end it's not too much. I think simple present is like somehow harder than this one. Yes. Uh, this one, what happened is it's quite long. The structure is quite long, right? So if you notice, and you need to figure it out, is this is a statement, right? Or this is a request. Um, yeah, so that's that's the only thing. Where you, so when you need to use tell or ask, yes, when you when you have the message. And here I forgot the question mark, I'm sorry. At the end here, I forgot it, okay. But I think the structure is, you see, it's like with modal, will you ask to pick it, to pick it up this afternoon? So you see, you don't, you don't need to think about, I don't know, something else, just, just, it's quite simple, but it's somehow long, I guess, like the structure is, is quite long. So that's why sometimes we get confused. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I need to take it. Yes. And uh, the first question, well, is a statement and you add a question mark. It is correct. It is correct because I have word. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. I, yeah. And uh, I, I use, that question. like, for example, here, I didn't write it because I have, like, please. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. That's right, that's right. And because here I, need, I have the expression, this word, yeah. Okay, thank you. Wonderful, yeah. Very good. Let me take the attendance. I'm sorry on this one. And um... oh what's going on here? The news on the background. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are hearing news. <laughs> yes, from Anna. Is it from Anna? Okay. <laughs> very Present good. teacher. Thank you, Anna. That's very nice of you. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I don't know what. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, Jesus. They changed this thing by last names. So I'm going to mention your last names at the beginning, and then I will mention your names. And that I'm sorry because I'm, I'm, they changed something here on the attendance list, and my brain is like, pfft, you know, like trying to get the information. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. They change it, okay? No, they they change no, it. No, no problem. Don't so worry. I will I will say your last name first, and then your name. Yes. So it's gonna be quite <laughs> different. So please be ready. Aguilar Juarez, Liliana del Transito. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Good evening, Alvarado Mengibar, Liliana Mariel. I'm sorry, Iliana Mariel. Thank you so much, Eliana, for being here. Welcome. Aragón Pleites, Milena de Los Angeles. Good evening. No, she isn't, right? Eh, Cortés Rivas, María Vilma. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Cruz Amaya, Rona Rafael. I think Ronald, I saw Ronald here. Yeah, thank you, Ronald. Good evening. Nice to have you. Flores Sánchez, Kevin Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome, gentlemen. And Galicia Gertrudis, Luis Alberto. Hello. Nice to have you. Thank you so much. Galicia Ramirez, Christian David. Thank you so much, Christian. Welcome. Garcia de Crespin, Briseida Janet. And let me see if we have Briseida. I think I saw her. Sorry, teacher. Thank you, Christian. Present. Welcome. I, I have you here. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Briseida is here. Thank you, Briseida. Good evening. Uh, Garcia de Ruiz, Elisa Maria. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Garcia Mendez, Juan Jose. 
Present teacher, good evening. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you. Gutierrez, Alfaro, Jorge, Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Okay, Guzman, Cruz, Blanca, y Solina. I'm here. Thank you so much and welcome. Jose Alcides, Leiva Ibarra. Jesus, I'm sorry. It's Leiva, Leiva Ibarra, Jose Alcides. Um, Present. Thank you so much. Welcome. Good evening. Lopez Portillo, Janessi, Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Janessi. Martinez Mendez, Tiffany Guadalupe. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Martinez Arabia, Jose Mauricio. Present. Nice to have you. Moreno Mercado, Jocelyn Tatiana. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Uh, Olivares Resinos, Daniela Mercedes. Thank you so much for being here. Present. Uh, Palacio Herrera, Marcos Alberto. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Marcos. Uh, Paz Carrillo, Freddy Alberto. Present, teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Peña de Paz, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ana. Perdomo Álvarez Evers Ernesto. Thank you, Evers. Pimentel Álvarez Sandra Noemí. Eh, Ramírez Rodríguez Cindy Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Rivera de Segundo Edith Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Rodríguez Sánchez Jacqueline Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ruano Reyes Mirna del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Tolosa Cortez, Jenny Lisbeth, and Carlos. Present Are you here, Carlos? Where is Carlos? No, he isn't. Okay. Yes. I'm I'm sorry for that one, but they change they change the um the way. Yeah, now they have uh, last names first, and then your names. Okay. Grammar knows negative requests. Look at this one. Don't call him. Please ask Jan not to call him today. Don't go home yet. Could you tell him not to go home yet? Here we have a message if you see. Right. I'm sorry. You need to zoom. Zoom that. Hi, Michael. Don't come to the airport until midnight. The plane is going to be late. What is the message here? Which one do we use? Tell or ask? Don't go on yet. statement very good Anna that's correct so how do we write it uh -huh. which one do we use please could would Uh -huh. uh, please. Okay, please. What is next? Uh, tell. Very good. Tell. Don't. No, we need we need the person here. Michael. Oh, very Michael. good. Michael. Thank you. Michael. Oh my gosh. luego sería don't come. The Excuse me. Don't don't come. Okay, look at this structure here. This is the request, right, or or the statement. But here we have the message. So right now we are working with the message, Anna. So please tell Michael. Um, please, Michael. Uh, the plane. The plane is going to be late. Okay, somebody, somebody help her, please. Somebody help her. Yeah. Please tell Michael. Maybe that, the auxiliary. 
No, I'm sorry. Or not. Oh, very good. Thank you, Luis. Not. Not. Uh huh. Anna, one more time. Please tell Michael not. Not. Um, Excuse me, to come. Somebody said that. Not. Yes, not, not to come. He's going. Not, not to come to the airport. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yes. To the airport. To the airport. Until. Yet or not? <laughs> Until. Until midnight. midnight. Exactly. Midnight. Very good. Oh, oh there's no question, Mark, because we have this. Okay. Please tell Michael not to come to the airport until midnight. Beautiful. Very good. What about the number two? Let me move this one here. Here we have the message in number two. Hey, Lucy, we're meeting at Pete's house before the concert. Don't forget the tickets. What is this one? A request or a statement? It's a statement. A statement because uh, this there is saying uh no yes he says uh, don't forget the tickets. It's a statement. <laughs> okay. Yes, request. It is a request. Thank you so much, Edith. That is correct. It is a request. So, how do we write the the, the message here? We can use please. What is next? Ask or tell. Please ask. ask. Very ask. good. And who's the person? Lucy. Lucy. Exactly. Very good. Lucy. Not to forget. Very good. Not to forget. Uh, the tickets, right? Yeah. Tickets. Yes. Yeah. Please ask Lucy not to forget the tickets. Very good. What about number three? We have Chris. The surprise party starts at noon. Don't be late. What is this? Is this like a, a statement, done be late, or is it like a request? Request. Is it a request or a statement? Somebody with a different uh, perspective? Or do you agree with Anna? A request. A request. Don't be late. Okay. How do we write a request, the message here? What's the message? How do we write the message? Please tell. Excuse me? Please. Please tell Christian. Chris. Okay, tell or ask. So no. it, is, it is a request or it is a statement? Ask. Okay. Please ask. Who's the person? Please. Please. Okay, Christ. Um, what is next? Not. No. Not. Mm -hmm. To be late. Okay. Okay. Please read it. Read the statement. This one. The message, please. I'm sorry. The message. Read the message. Mauricio, can you read that the message for everybody, please? Mm 
Hello, Mauricio. Hello. Oh, Please sorry. read the message for everybody. The message? What? The, the first one or the last one? No, this one. The message, this one. Please ask Chris not to be late. Okay. One more time, please. Please ask Chris not to be late. Okay. Very good. Uh, what do you think about how this thing sound? For me, it sounds uh, like a request. Okay. Please ask Chris. And also because we had asked. And if it's a statement, we probably use tell. Okay. I'm going to use um, Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use tell. Now, now read with tell, please. Please tell Chris not to be late. Also, which one sounds better? For me, the last. What yes. about the rest of your classmates? What do you think about it? Which one sounds better? Please tell Chris not to be late or please ask Chris not to be late. Please tell. Exactly right. So please tell. Exactly. That sounds better. Yeah. You know, it because of the context. If you see here, we have done be late. Right? It's just a statement. I'm just telling you. Oh, don't be late. Okay. The party starts at noon. So don't it's be because, late. Uh, he probably mm -hmm. promised to came to the party. Exactly. Exactly right. So so don't be late. That's right? Why it's a statement and not a request. Exactly. Exactly. It's because so, it's not an invitation. Exactly. Exactly. That's why it's like they already arranged everything and they everything is set up. Yeah. So I think it's only to confirm. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's why we have this is a statement. Okay. And um, yeah. Um, that's that's the thing. Okay. Very good. Nice job. Beautiful people. Thank you so much. Let me see. I have another exercise for you. So we can practice. Remember, like this thing is like the more we practice, the better. Yeah. Um, okay. The next one is going to be for you. What is Edith? Give me a minute, Edith. Look at this picture, Edith. Describe the picture, please. What do you see here? What is this person doing? What is he wearing? Where is this person? Okay. This person is probably a licensed. Licenciado, no, como dice. Oh, we don't have we don't have that one in Spanish in English, right? How do you say licenciado? Oh, Jesus. Uh, bar bachelors. No, bachelor. no, but when we have a a degree, yes, we say, oh, I got a bachelor degree in English. I got a bachelor ah, yes. degree in science. <laughs> yeah, in that one, yes, but the word licenciado, we don't have it in English. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I remember. <laughs> As far as I remember, yeah. So yes. we just have the professions, I guess. Yeah. If if you know <laughs> something, let me know. Let me know. Okay. So we can oh, very good. Carry on. Okay. Um okay, yeah, one time. Uh, he's wearing a shirt, white shirt, and uh Back. Somebody um, help her, please. A tie. Oh, sorry, tie is. Um. He watch the computer. Probably. He, uh, he is watching the computer. Ah, uh, he's watching the computer, and probably he's watching a video. Um. Oh. Is calling. What is his professional occupation, Edith? Mm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. What is the name of this object here? 
headset. Thank you so much, Fabrizio. <laughs> yeah, we are headset, right? Yes. Yeah. Based on this thing that you see, right, Mauricio, what, yeah. what do you think, like, what's his professional occupation? Probably it is a teleoperator. That's it correct. brings a customer service through the phone. Exactly, exactly. Because he has probably technical exactly. support. Exactly. Also, right. Very good. Or probably he's in a meeting. Or probably he's having an interview. Right? Uh, <laughs> yes. or probably he's a sales manager. <laughs> oh, the oh, oh, salesman. Right. Yeah, it looks like Bukele, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just because these entradas here, right? Yeah, it's because this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no traffic. No traffic here, right? No traffic here. <laughs> it's clean, okay. Or, or probably studying in English Corporativo. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing the exercises. Yeah. He's, the... <laughs> yeah. he's resolving the platform. <laughs> yeah, I'm finishing the or he's he's wondering oh how when is this going to be like off right when is this going to be over <laughs> yeah oh that's right probably yeah. it's your teacher <laughs> oh, it's teaching true. it's yes. teaching english no i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry okay and uh, thank you so much for aguantarme all this module yeah i, I know that sometimes I I announce you a lot because I, I don't know I don't know yeah mm -hmm. I don't know I I hope so yes I hope I can see you like uh in, in another module, uh, but thank you so much for so, like all the support and for being so nice I know that sí que a veces pues lo molesto le llamo okay mire participe okay yeah I, I know that but um yeah I'm sorry about it yes um sí so uh we're gonna we're gonna finish uh like in four minutes yes and i would like to let you know like i'm so proud of you of all the effort you've done yeah things like um i met you like in the previous module and all of you you are like um i don't know learning and improving yes as i told you before esta cosa depende de cada uno de of you right yes it's, it's like trabajamos in groups sometimes but at the end, it's individual. Yeah, so the product is, is individual. So uh, I really appreciate all the effort and everything you do at home. Yes, um, por mínimo que sea, créame, it works. Yes, por esos saludos que usted le da a su esposo. Hey, good morning. Oh, my love, how are you? You look so handsome today. Look at that clothes, right? Your tie, your shirt, your shoes, right? All those Cosas pequeñas, little things that usted cree que es mínimo, right? Eso, it helps you a lot. Entonces, uh, siempre keep, keep practicing, keep, keep learning, and, and don't be afraid to speak out, okay? Sí, a veces si nos da miedito, right? Escuchamos a los compañeros, oh, qué, qué bien pronuncia, right? Oh, no, hombre, qué rápido agarró. Yeah, that is, that is normal, right? That is normal, but, but eh, usted siempre motive, right? Siempre... Eh, uh, apóyese también de ellos, ¿vale? Right? Cuando ellos eh, practic, eh, participen, ¿vale? Right? Usted escucha y dice, oh, ¿cómo lo pronunció, ¿vale? Right? Yes, this and this. Entonces, uh, repeat, repeat and repeat. Practice, ¿ok? Um, yes, and also, if you have the visa, ¿ok? Don't be afraid. Go to New York and practice over there, ¿ok? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you can improve also there. Yes, no vaya yeah. a Los Angeles because ahí hay más latinos que aquí, right? Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you so much for, for aguantarme, right? All this, this module. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, tenemos one minute. Yes. Uh, before we leave. So, thank you so much for everything. It was my pleasure. Uh, if I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Mauricio, you want to say something? Okay. No, no, don't worry. Thank you. I only can say thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yes. Uh, uh, Freddy, also Merry Christmas. Look at you, right? <laughs> He's ready Merry with Christmas, a... teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you got your cuetes, you got your yeah, lights. The, the light, thank yeah. you, teacher. The lights in the background. <laughs> exactly. And also, uh, like, he got the material. <laughs> Beautiful. That's wonderful. Yes. Okay. 
have a nice okay. uh, um, day, rest of the day, people. And see you around. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Th